Louisiana Beer Reviews. I'm recording this at the Waikiki Heritage uh, Hotel in Waikiki, Honolulu, Hawaii. And um, I was going to sit outside by the pool, but somebody else is sitting out there, and you know, people get paranoid if you start recording. Uh, fresh Squeeze India Pale Ale from Deschutes. Um, we used to get some of their products in Louisiana, but uh, not for a long time, and I've never had this one. Uh, I bought this here in Honolulu at a ABC store, well, at um, Waikiki Market. I think they're owned by ABC store. They had these two for seven, two for nine dollars, these stovepipe cans, and I asked the lady, can you just buy one and get it for that for four fifty? She said, yeah. 6.4% alcohol, it's certified kosher, and it, um, it says a perfectly crushable and balanced IPA with bright citrus and tropical fruit notes. I know there's a lot of video reviews for it, and I know a lot of people like it. And this company was started in 1988. Yeah, it says best, freshest within four months, and it is within four months. So just... Um, less than two months actually so they had a pretty good selection at that market and um, I mean a gallon of milk was for about seven sixty eight or something like that but that's they're high, it's high in, in Louisiana you can get some stores have milk, milk for five, five ninety nine so I didn't find the liquor prices were that elevated in fact, you could get a bottle of cheap vodka for for eight eighty Kharkov, which I don't think is bad. Actually, it's just inexpensive. And they had some inexpensive rum for like eight fifty. Some kind of Hawaiian island theme rum, but it's actually bottled in California, but it's Caribbean. But anyway, they had clear, amber, and dark. So the beer selection it was. Well, it was okay um, at all these ABC stores, you know, alcohol, I guess that stands for alcohol, beer, and cigarettes, but it um, wasn't, you know, it was kind of like what you see in Louisiana convenience stores, just what stuff they can get that we can't and vice versa in Louisiana. All right. So the aroma, and it's, it's hot and humid outside. And mostly sunny and um, kind of like where I live and after a few hours of walking around I'm tired this area is like um it's sort of like if Fifth Avenue was on the beach okay nice bready aroma let's go with the taste Herbal hops, not that bitter. Um, they might have adjusted them down over the years. You know the bitterness units on this. They've done it with a lot of other ones. Um, I'm thinking it's probably around 55. So it's like three and a half out of five hop cones. Three out of five sugar cubes. A relatively sweet beer, but it has a dry finish. Um, a lot of white bread crust here, a lot of white bread crust. Medium body, easy going. I can see why people like it. And then they had a craft beer 12 pack, a craft beer light beer. Um, I can't remember the name. It was something like uh, Western theme. And it was made for the craft beer company in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We know that's City Brewing. Just like that Montucky Cold Snacks is made in La Crosse, Wisconsin. They must be making a lot of money in La Crosse, Wisconsin at that brewery. They might want to work on that Schlitz recipe. 
But maybe that's what Pops wanted. They said, well, how do you think this tastes? Pops was like, exactly, that's what we want. Um, be that as it may, this is um, similar to like what you'd get with a Goose Island, which they had there, or a Lagunitas, which they had there. I'm talking about the Waikiki Market and ABC stores, uh, especially the market because it's bigger. It's a full-size grocery store. Um, um, yeah, you know those kind of things. Your mainstream, nice, enjoyable India Pale Ales. And I believe there was some hazy versions of some of these. But like, there might have been a hazy version of this. Um, so I wanted to buy stuff I couldn't get back home, so that's why I bought this. And I'm very pleased that I did. And they should sell it in Louisiana. I think people would buy it. Buy it. But we kind of flooded with uh, these... Uh, you know, original style American IPAs right now, where I live. Um, I got the two hardest. I don't know how many they could, could could be sustainable. You know, so many similar products on, on Louisiana. You know, Louisiana only has four and a half million people. Hawaii doesn't have a huge population, but they have a huge visitor population, like here in Honolulu. New Orleans too, but um, I don't think people are going to come to New Orleans to buy regular IPAs. You know, they're going to come to buy Hurricanes and go to Bourbon Street. I'm trying to get other visitors to Louisiana to go see cultural things. I was like, y'all want to go see this National Wildlife Refuge? Um, no, they just want to go drinking. <laughs> Because I guess they don't have bars back in Nebraska or Indiana, but I think they do. Um, yeah, don't they have expensive, like, clothing stores and jewelry stores in other states? I don't know why somebody would come all the way to Hawaii just to shop at a bunch of expensive stores. I don't understand that. I saw him surfing though. I'm gonna go check that out tomorrow. Um, so I'm heading to the beach with their surfboards. This is really nice. I didn't drink any beer all day. I was on the plane. I'm not going on these long trips anymore. I can't handle it. I mean, I can handle it. I just don't like it. At least they had a trivia game you could play on the airplane, like a on their movie screen and it said I had the highest score in the history of the game <laughs> I kept playing you know you could keep playing until you get your score to, to the top and I did okay I got the third highest highest okay um, dynamite product the ones I just named you know they're dynamite too in their in their own way they really are so um I'm all for mass production. If it tastes good, I'm all for it, and I am all for this. I'm going with a 95 out of 100, 9.5 out of 10, the most excellent India Pale Ale from Oregon. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go. Oh, and I was around the corner, and they had Aloha Beer out of business. You know, so many of these places are shut down to my brew pubs and craft beer uh, breweries. But anyway, y'all go to Bend, Oregon, and take at the shoots brewery tour